I'm always on my phone, and then the same ad keeps popping up. I know it's a scam. I'm not gonna click on it. Look how happy I am. Not anymore. Is that is that what I think it is? You won't believe it. Another ad. Have you guys ever just given your credit card to an advertisement? That feels kind of wrong. I mean, I haven't yet. Okay, let's see if we get scammed. I can't wait to get scammed. I wonder if it's like another really cheap clothing thing. Maybe it's actually good, unless it looks like this. Or if they're one of those, like, unethical, like, child labor things. Ugh. I don't trust reviews either, because you can easily fake it. One out of five stars, horrible clothing sites. All the items I received felt like tissue paper. And then we have five out of five stars! Amazing! Woo! I don't know if this is good, but 51% of people gave it a 5-star review. As a stupid, ugly trans person, weird shaped, broad shoulders, fanboy, let's see if I get scammed. All the ad revenue that this channel makes is gonna go to a random charity or to somebody who needs it, so subscribe. This is what I ordered. Brown khaki shorts, white lace socks, pantyhose, yellow cardigan, black shirts, white shirts, gray sweater, green shorts. I'm really stupid, but I placed a second order before I received the first one, so now I have even more clothing. This one was only $125, but it was free shipping, so like, good deal. So does it really feel like tissue paper? Is it gonna fit a femboy body like mine? I hope it does. I spent so much money on this. Let me show you what it looks like. don't really like this outfit that much. Maybe someone else does. I just don't like bright colors and I'm not wearing a bra underneath it. So maybe that makes it a little bit more awkward. <laughs> the socks and the shorts, 10 out of 10. The shorts do feel nice. Like the material is actually thick and it feels like jeans, but it's a little bit big, but I can always tighten it so it actually fits me. What do you guys think about the outfit? Personally, I really like the shorts a lot and I'm not a fan of the shirts, but maybe you guys actually like it. This is pretty good quality though, but I just don't like the style of the shirt. I think it's the shirt that I don't like. I spent a couple hundred dollars on this website, so let me quickly show you the other outfits and then you guys can figure out if it's good enough for you. like this like what am i supposed to do with this like tie it in the front i think i'm too big for this my arms fit perfectly i was worried that my arms were gonna be too big but there's like plenty of room honestly this is a weird outfit it's not normal i don't think i can pull it off there's no way i can pull it off i like the, sh the skirt because it's really long but like and then this is also really cute all of this but the shirt is probably the worst part of this i don't like the yellow shirts and i don't like this shirt there's an issue right there that you can see what I'm wearing underneath. That's not a good thing. And then this is gonna go open. I don't wanna grip a button. I just bought this. I don't know how much this costs. That was $18. The skirt is really stretchy, but it's kind of big. And it's also really long. I think it's just this outfit that looks really weird. Okay, so I've showed you all the stupid ones. And then these ones that I'm gonna show you are ones that I actually like. And I think it's worth buying. Dude, I, I love this one so much. This is a little bit weird. I wish this was a maybe tighter. The turtleneck though. <laughs> I've never had a turtleneck before. I don't know if this counts. There's too much skin. We need to circumcise this. The baggy shorts kind of makes it cool though. I'm gonna need a belt with this one. And then the pantyhose don't make any sense. I don't know what I'm doing here, but I'm still wearing it. And the pockets are very weird and awkward, but I kind of, I kind of like it. There's just a couple left, but these are absolutely amazing. I freaking love these next ones. I like this 
shirt. The shirt looks really cute, but I hate this. That makes no sense. But the shirt is nice, but it looks stupid. I like this black skirt, but it's kind of too big for me, so I'm just gonna pick up my own pants. So this one's really cool but weird because there's like a buckle on it and it's just one shirt but it looks like it's a combination of like a sweater and a shirt. I have a sweater! The most important thing that I could tell you guys is make sure you find clothing that fits you and if you don't know what looks good or what doesn't, I feel like darker colors are usually good and you can kind of match that with anything. Bright colors are really hard to make look good but if you wear darker colors it looks nicer. You should wear whatever you want to wear. Who cares what anybody thinks? But you should also be reasonable and not wear a sweater when it's like 100 degrees out. I mentioned that because it's literally 100 degrees right now and I'm wearing a freaking sweater. One of my biggest insecurities is my shoulders and this sweater makes my shoulders look huge. It looks like a Roblox character. This is not bad, but like the cut, look at this. It makes it look like this is really long. So it makes it look like my shoulders are extra big. <laughs> it's not, it's just that it's all of this. And, and, and my shoulders are big, but they're not that big. I think I also bought a necklace. It's so cute. I like it. <laughs> Honestly, I like it. It's simple, it's small, I like it. <laughs> I like to try new things all the time, but when it comes to clothing, it's really hard because I usually get ripped off or like scammed because it it doesn't look good like this shirt right here i wanted it to look good so i bought it but it's just so weird it almost seems like it's part of a uniform or something like it's not clothing you know what i hate it i think there was supposed to be like a matching like skirt or like a pair of shorts for this <laughs> i think it just looks so out of place it looks like i work at a bowling alley cocaine is a bad drug do not do drugs cocaina <laughs> that was just my workout stuff. Don't even think about doing drugs. All right, so was this online store worth it? Well, I got everything I ordered, so technically it's not a scam. And the quality was, it felt like clothing. Like, it was normal. Some of it, like this one, just looks weird on me. But half of it does work, and that's just kind of online shopping. Oh yeah, and the shipping only took like a week. So honestly, pretty worth it, in my opinion. I, yeah, that was really expensive. Like, this shirt that I'm never going to wear is probably going to be like $35 gone. And I don't know what I'm gonna do. I, I guess I can make content with it. Other content, if you know what I mean. Subscribe to the Patreon. Since it's Asian sizing, you do have to order up a size. For shirts, sure, I like to go medium, so it's a little bit bigger. But for this, I have to go large, which is kind of, I don't know. It just makes me feel bad. And the material is kind of average, I guess. It's not like really, it, it's, it's just clothing. Like it's not really cheap. I don't think I can rip it. And the buttons seem like pretty secure on it. A lot of cheap clothing, I feel like the buttons are the first thing to get ruined. And I don't know how to sew and everything's just ruined. The whole shirt is ruined because I'm missing some buttons. It's not a scam, but it is a little bit expensive and it's hard to pick out clothing online to see what works. I'm assuming the returning process is really hard. I wish they sponsored me. If they sponsored me, that'd make it a hundred times better. Do I recommend it? The style is not for everyone. There's a lot to pick from. I don't know if it's ethically sourced or whatever, if that matters, but it's sort of expensive. It's not for everyone, but if this is your style, then yes. If not, then no. Do I recommend it for reals? No. I'm trying to fill the rest of the 10 minutes in this video, but I don't know what to fill it with. You guys want to hear about my day? I'm going to work out later. I'm an idiot for constantly being like this on camera. I do it in real life too. Cause like I've never been this strong before. Like I couldn't hold up a hair dryer, but now I can. And now I'm taking it very seriously because I got creatine. And this is like this weird one I got off Amazon. I don't recommend it. Cause like you're gonna bulk up and I don't wanna be like, oh. <laughs> but I just wanna get the most out of my workout, you know? That's, that's basically my day. Oh, I've been playing a lot of Raft. I don't stream it, but I play it a lot off stream and it's really fun. You basically go on a little thingy and you collect thingies. I'm going to stop talking about that. <laughs> well, if you have any questions or anything, you can always write it down in the description, obviously. I don't know how long I'm going to keep going like this. How long are you guys going to keep watching this? I don't know how much time I have to fill. So I'm just going to keep talking about whatever he's talking about. Oh, <laughs> some people are going to be like, why do you wear these? Because they look cool. It's part of the cosplay that I always wear. It's kind of the look. Look, 
Look, I look stupid without the ears. Look. Look, it's my real hair. What? What? <laughs> Stop judging me. Okay, I shared something, and now you have to share something. Write your deepest, darkest secret in the comment section below. And when people go in there to look at it, they're gonna be like, what the hell? But you gotta do it. I showed you my ears. You owe me one. Okay, I think it's been five minutes or something. All right, everybody. Thank you for hanging out. I don't know what the hell this is, but this is cool, I guess. All right, everyone. See you next video. Bye!